Ladies and gentlemen, Santi Orvance here, and welcome to a flight test. Now this is actually V2 of my videos. I've done a flight test on this ship a very, very long time ago before the flight mechanic change, and also the ships had quite a few changes. This was one of my favorite smaller ships. Let's see how it fares out again in a flight test. Now first off, getting out the sea is not that slow. It could be worse. If you're under attack, you can get out relatively quickly. I do prefer the sort of smaller fighters with the ability to get out quite quickly. I like the top canopies. You can see this checkered deck here. Now this checkered deck is armor plating. It has changed in design actually from the original one. The original one had little brassy sort of pads stuck on the ship. It almost looked like a SIM card that you get on the phone. Now they've made it more like that reactive armor you get on the tank. You can see it here. Done a really nice job. It's obviously had a pass over it at some point. The animations have actually been changed as well. I'll just show you a before now quickly so you can have a look. So you can see the before there. And we can do the same as well with the uh, flight aspect of it. The base loadout, the weapons are slightly different. And I'm going to say the dumbfires have been slightly nerfed. And what I've found, which you'll see later in the flight test, is clearly they're not doing as much damage as they were before. But they have slightly a different effect, but I'll show you that later. Have a look around the uh, rear of the ship. All much the same. The lighting looks a lot much, much better than it does before. We'll jump inside now and do a little bit of a uh, flight. And I'll show you some of the animation changes they've done between this version and the previous version. So this is the exterior of the ship. And you'll notice that the thrusters there are actually white. And they've got sort of a little start-up sequence when you start. Like a little bit of a splutter as well, which looks pretty cool. The lighting just looks much, much better than it does before. And also the, the green colour has actually gone as well. And I'll show you a, a before of that from the old video. So you can have a quick look now. I actually prefer this one. It does look much better. In some ways, I did like this sort of greeny colour because it did sort of make it look a little bit of a sort of an alien-y ship. I think they've done this sort of unique thruster animation across all the ships. Looks pretty cool from the front. The sound of the guns... Dunfires are pretty cool as well. But the acceleration's pretty good. The stop-start's quite good. Now this can actually keep up with most ships. Top speed... Boost speed is quite good as well. Handling is... It definitely doesn't feel as nimble as it does in the previous patches, unfortunately, but the turning speed, it can turn quite quickly and come to a, a stop quite quickly. This is really handy when you're flying between the rocks or you're trying to uh, outmaneuver a target. Now, first off, I'm going to try the uh, dumbfires out. These are unguided. They're just point and shoot, hit it in the center pit, and then uh, fire it. In the previous version, it was a case of one hit and explosion. I'm not going to lie. That was probably a little bit overpowered, but... You can hit the target, but what I've found is sometimes if you go sort of slightly bigger than an Aurora, something like a, a 350R, it stuns them and puts them into a spin, and then you can take advantage of them. It doesn't seem to do an incredible amount of damage. Now, that's not saying that you can't blow up a ship with a dumbfire, but he's got to be on very, very low health. The way that I see the dumbfires now is more like a stun more than anything else, unless they're on very, very low health. So what do I think about the main guns? I mean, the main guns are two size twos. They're good against small targets, but if you start moving up to bigger ships, it does get a little bit difficult to take them out, purely on the basis that you need to do a lot of damage before they actually explode. But that's going to be sort of likewise with all the ships in Star Citizen, depending on the tier of the weapon and the maneuverability. But this definitely has maneuverability. It's undoubtedly a very, very quick ship. And also you can carry a little bit of cargo as well. So in summary, what do I think of the Delta now? I'll be lying to say it wasn't fun before when them uh, dumbfires would one-shot a ship. That was fun. Obviously, that couldn't have stayed in the game because they were doing way too much damage. They're still quite good fun. You can upgrade the ship and replace the weapons out like most, but I'm using the, what, the stock one off the shelf to give you an idea of where it fares out. How would I replace it with all the other starter ships? It is a very, very good ship, undoubtedly. It's very, very good. Would I pick it over something like the Aurora? Depending on your style, I suppose. The only downside, obviously, with the Delta, you don't get the bed, so you won't better save in game. And it's not really designed for that, really. It's sort of a very, very short-range small fighter, really. I really see this as maybe a entry-level small fighter. Something to get into Star Citizen and probably start playing. Pick your targets. If you move up to the sort of bigger ships and you see the one that's weak, I suggest you pick on them and take them out and then pick on the targets, obviously the same line as you, maybe the starter ships, and maybe even a tier higher, depending on their HP and the damage they've taken. 
All in all, it's a really good ship, guys. It's fun to play. I still would like to have my one-hit dunfires back, but I don't think that's going to happen. I plan on working through the rest of the ships as well, and that's all the ones that I did in sort of 1.3 and upwards. Very, very old ones now, and the flight mechanics changed. There's lots have changed. And also, this is sort of preparing us for 3.0 as well, so if you're thinking about back in the game, that this could be a uh, good stepping stone for you to jump into the game. So the last thing on the agenda today, guys, if you're looking to join a Star Citizen organization, check out the link in the description below. That's everything from me. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.